Okay, so our next guest speaker um, is a community leader much like me. He has fallen in love with the great state of Minnesota. You also will see him on television from time to time, except he gets to answer questions and not ask them. Please welcome the 48th mayor of Minneapolis, Mayor Jacob Fry. doing there, supporters of the extraordinary Sane Foundation? I'm honored to be here. Uh, I am honored to follow Representative Jay Shung, uh, a, a representative in uh, one of the fine districts of St. Paul, uh, which is the greatest neighborhood th that Minneapolis has. Slightly unfair of, of me to be raising the banter about St. Paul tonight without my good friend and, and colleague Melvin Carter up here with me. You know, that's right. Uh, you know, this was one of the very first events uh, that he and I did together. And so now we've got like this running shtick. Uh, but I can tell you a whole lot of it started right here with the Sane Foundation and uh, the, the Gala for Goals. And I want you to think back uh, to the very first Gala for Goals that you attended. It might have been two years ago. It might have been three years ago. It might have been ten years ago. And perhaps ten years ago, you were sitting at a card table and you were eating chips and salsa uh, but every single year, uh, this organization has grown. Uh, the mission has risen. And it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And sure, you're still staying true to your roots with the chips and salsa. Uh, but the work that is happening, it matters. People are excited about it. And the Sane Foundation has so much momentum. And so, as you look around, you will see the work of transforming our communities takes stakeholders from every single walk of community. If you do a quick head count, you'll see more than 1,200 of the Sane Foundation's closest friends in the room. This many individual supporters, community partners, mission-oriented companies, public servants, they didn't come here because they heard there was some great organization with some innovative idea that had the potential to see success. You all are here tonight because this mission-driven experience is working. It is working. It is quite simply improving the lives of children throughout the Twin Cities and throughout Minnesota. You are here tonight because of the Sane Foundation mentality that we do not look at our communities that we're serving from a deficit standpoint. You look at them from a form of excellence, from as excellence, knowing full well that if you give the necessary resources and assistance and mentorship, they do incredible things. They do incredible things. And so very shortly, you're going to see a special video that highlights the evolution of the Asane Foundation's work, that highlights that this is way more than just about having a nice, soft touch on a soccer ball. This has given kids confidence to be themselves, no matter who they are. This is giving them the, the mental uh, state to say, you know what, no matter what it is that I want to do, it can be accomplished. But one thing you will see that hasn't changed over the last 10 years, and everyone in this room already knows because they've seen the Sane Foundation's work firsthand, is that the Sane Foundation has consistently found innovative and effective ways to build the kind of equitable social and physical environments that create a culture of community, of, of health uh, and of well-being. So that success, it's in school or 
or whether it's access to physical activity or having a trusted and caring adult in your life, it's accessible to all, and it should not be determined uh, by your zip code. One of the things that got me so excited about the Sane Foundation's work when I first met Tony, and by the way, uh, before I got up here, somebody asked me, so how did you meet Tony? Now I want you all to think back to how you met Tony. And the answer I guarantee for 80% of you is, I have no idea. <laughs> He's just kind of around. He's like this little butterfly that's floating from activity to activity, but doing the incredible work. Uh, and that work is continuing, uh, that work matters, and that is work that I think every single one of us can get behind for another 10 years. So everyone, let's make it happen. Open up your wallet, open up your pocketbook, and give generously because this is a partnership that is seeing success and success that will continue. Thank you so much.